by Robert Benzie Queens Park Bureau Chief Wood. September 20, 2017 The progressive conservatives have unleashed a new attack ad against untrustworthy Premier Kathleen Wynne that accuses the governing liberals of being corrupt. Released last week, the US-style spot features a grim-faced win against a red and black backdrop as an ominous true Akram soundtrack plays. Complete with sound effects reminiscent of jail cell doors being clanked shut, the ad splashes headlines critical of the liberals from the Star and other news outlets. Kathleen Wynne is untrustworthy, intones the male narrator in the 30-second commercial that is airing on numerous channels in prime time and on CP24 around the clock. The Liberal Party is politically corrupt. From the gas plant rip-off and health, billions to their cash fixes fundraising scheme, he continues. That's a reference to former Premier Dalton McGuinty's decision to cancel two gas-fired power plants in Oakville and Mississauga before the 2011 election, problems at the Electronic Health Records Agency, and political fundraising changes triggered by a star probe last year. Ontario Premier Kathleen Wynne is featured in a newly launched Tory attack ad. Liberal Deputy Premier Deb Matthews said that the Tory ads coincide with Tory leader Patrick Brown's controversial comments about the Premier's appearance in a Sudbury court this week. Sean Kilpatrick, the Canadian press now the Premier is testifying at a bribery trial. Just imagine what's next, says the narrator. Kathleen Wynne will say anything to get elected. You can't trust her or them ever again. While the ad boasts of small Ontario PC logo, there is no mention of Tory leader Patrick Brown or the fact that the next election is on June 7, 2018. Wynn is threatening to sue Brown for defamation after he incorrectly claimed on September 12 that she was on trial in the Sugbury election bribery case. On the eve of her taking the stand as a Crown witness, the Tory leader said Ontario had a sitting premier sitting in trial and that she stands trial. But Patricia Sorbara, the premier's former deputy chief of staff, and liberal activist Jerry Luffy are on trial, not win, for alleged Election Act violations related to the 2015 election. Both deny any wrongdoing. Deputy Premier Deb Matthews expressed concern Wednesday that the Tory ad spots coincided with his controversial comments about the Premier. It is looking like this is part of a strategy, a very unsavory strategy based on a lie, said Matthews. He knows he said something that was false, and then he runs these ads, which came out immediately after, she said. Brown insisted the advertising had nothing to do with his statement about when. That's a leap and a stretch. It's not a reality, he told the star, adding he will continue to ignore the premier's baseless legal threat. The PC leader also defended the hard hitting TV spots, which are airing as the criminal trial of two top ex McGinty aides, David Livingston and Laura Miller, continues Friday. They have pleaded not guilty. We're going to continue to have an assortment of ads. Some of them will be about my approach, and some, frankly, will be about the liberal legacy, the record after 14 long years, said Brown. Obviously there's a lot of scandals that swirl around this government. In contrast to Gazi commercials featuring the leader released earlier this year, the attack ads do not appear on the Ontario PC YouTube channel. Last January, the Tories launched a multi-million dollar blitz of commercials aimed at introducing Brown to voters. One featured the mother of an autistic child praising him for his advocacy another had him discussing hydro rates, and a third featured him discussing how he overcame a childhood stutter. They followed up those ads with others that showed Brown marching in Toronto's Pride Parade, 